Hello everyone, this is Shiva from funapps.online and welcome to the second part of the SQLite tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we will see how to update an existing record. So, to do that, let me create a new database. Uh, I am using the DB browser for SQLite, similar to the previous tutorial. And uh, in this I'm creating a new table, table student, and let's have three fields, uh, ID, uh, which is going to be unique for every student, the name and the grade. Okay, so we have a new table ready. Let's add some records. Yep, I think four records is good enough. And uh, let's close the database and go back to B4A. Now, similar to the previous program, we will import the dbutil.bas into our project. And I'm going to include runtime permission and the SQL library. So we are going to again create SQL1 as SQL and uh, we will again check whether the database exists in DIR internal and if not we will copy it from file directory assets uh, similar to the previous tutorial.
okay I think I put the wrong table okay so it's master data Now since we want to update records, uh, instead of labels, we will use text boxes. So the text box can be used to display the field as well. And uh, if you want to make any changes, uh, we can just type in those text boxes and then we'll update that data. So I am using two buttons, one for previous record and then the other one for the next record. And we'll add one more button for updating the record. So let's generate members, tools generate members and I'm going to select the click event for all the buttons. So we have all the variables in the project and let's create a cursor. So the cursor stores the output of your select query and of course two variables total records and counter which will store total records will store the total number of records and counter uh, will be used as a counter to move previous or next record. Uh, this is very similar to the previous one. So I'm using the select statement to select all the records and the output of which would be stored in vMaster cursor. Uh, let's put in a if statement. 
so that if there is no record it will show us a message and uh, we'll move the cursor to the first position that is zero if you have not seen the previous tutorial i would request to just go back to the previous tutorial where we have explained in detail uh, what is cursor position and the counter is used for So what I have done over here is I have created a function display table data and all it does is it just copies the data from the current cursor position into the text fields. So rather than you know writing these three statements again and again for left and right uh, we'll just call this function wherever we want to show uh, the records of the current from the current position. So in the right button, I'm checking whether the counter is equal to the total number of records, which means it's in the last record and I will show the message. If not, we will increment the counter by one and then change the position of the cursor to that particular point and then display the table data. For the left one, we will check whether the counter is equal to zero, uh, which means that the record position is on the first record. If not, we will minus the counter by one and then display the table data.
to update the records we have to use executable non query now the difference from this to the previous one is in the previous sql statement you are expecting an output which we stored it in the cursor but in this statement it is a it's a non query sql type which means you're just putting a statement and something is updated or inserted you're not expecting a return value so statements like delete query insert and update will be considered as executable non query statements over here we are going to use the update sql statement which will update the table with the values from the text boxes okay and once you update it i'm just going to load the sql statement once again so that we can see the updated record So let's run the program. Okay. As you can see we have all the records from the table. Now let's change this. So I'm going to change Tony to Tony Stark and update the data. And let's see whether it's been updated or not. Yes, it has been. Okay, let's change one more record. yes it has changed as well now instead of the update statement you can use other sql statements as well so for example if i want to delete a record uh, i can just use the delete statement instead of update or if i want to add a new record i can use an insert statement to add a new record so that's it in this tutorial uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, if you really like it i would request if you can click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials thank you once again this is shiva from funapps.online